Hello and welcome back to Mikey's Flight Deck. In this episode I make a working dome light for the lower overhead and all the covers for the after overhead. All covers that don't need to be backlighted are made from two layers of 3mm HDF board. A last test fit now here before the painting and engraving process of some of the panels here. And when I now see these um, covers here in the overhead frame, I came across the idea that this could also be a good alternative for panel making for all those of you who are on a very low budget. This material here, these HDF plates, are the same material that I have used here for the ceiling of my cockpit shell. It has the same thickness of the acrylic sheets that I'm using. It's inexpensive and uh, it comes out with really good cutting results on the laser or the CNC. And if you don't need a backlighting in your overhead panel, this could be a good material for making those panels. Or if you are not 100% clear um, which size all your panels should have, then you could uh, use this material for a first try, make uh, all these panels and see how all these come together on the overhead frame and later switch to an uh, acrylic material. So just for you to know. Now I can cover all the areas that won't be covered with a real panel with these wooden covers here. I have decided that I won't screw them here because I don't want to waste um, these cross down nuts here and install them and use uh, additional screws so I just glue them on here. And to let these others here uh, look a little bit more uh, screwed to the panel. I have um, designed these uh, 3D Desas fastener dummies. They didn't come out as nice as the rear screws here, but I think this will work for me. And these I can just stick here through the panel and so I can find the correct indexing point here. They will fit into the drilled holes and so I can on and work my way through the panel. light switch I use the big three position toggle switch. To fix the backlighting plate I used 15mm hex standoffs. The shaders are 3D printed boxes where a laser engraved acrylic plate is glued in. If you are interested in how to make these in detail, you can watch the dedicated video. I want to explain you now all the connections I have done here at this dome light switch 
the 12 volt power supply isn't like it will be later because I have to change a little bit here with the connections but I would think you will get the idea behind this. So here arrives the 12 volt from the power supply and because this is a three-way switch here in the both outer positions these or these two pins are connected and so the power from the 12 volt supply takes this way or this here. When it is in the bright position then it takes this way here which leads just to the plug here which will go into the dome light. So the full power arrives and the LEDs are bright. When it takes this way it has to pass here a resistor, a 330 ohm resistor and this makes the LED darker like they are dimmed for example. Here we have the ground connection this I have to connect to the 12 volt power supply and that's all. When I now want to um, install these two panels here I am well aware of a mistake I have made. I have connected these two here together because I didn't want to uh, spend a D sub connector just because one LED here. So they share the same uh, D sub plug here. But I wasn't aware of the fact that there are uh, two stripes here between the LED and the place where this uh, plug will be later. And so I, I can't screw them here because the cable is in the way. Okay. Um, but instead of bringing it behind the frame and making a connection so that I can still remove them, I just will cut into the frame here a little bit so that I can route the cable here. As a covering for the cutout of the dome light opening here, there should be a light milky acrylic. But I don't have such material and I didn't want to buy a sheet just uh, for this small opening here. And so I tried to use the simple clear acrylic and give it a good sanding on the surface and I hope this will give me the same effect like I want to have here. The intercom switch is a big on-off switch. This is all I will do with this switch for now. It is just a dummy switch. I won't have any intercom connected. Maybe there will be a function that can be controlled with this switch in the future. But for now it isn't connected. And um, I have to make these black and white decals for uh, some other parts in the cockpit or uh, at the overhead panel. And I still have to order material to do this and then I will make all the decals in one working step. But for now I will leave this like it is. Now that everything is connected, I can do a test of the few electronic components I have built in here, which will be the dome light and the four LEDs. For this purpose, I have running prepared in the background. You can see I have already opened ProSim system and display, 
and have MobiFlight running here. I have already configured the outputs here in MobiFlight, which will be H01 to H04. These are only four LEDs. If you want to know more about the configuration here in MobiFlight, then you can watch a dedicated video about this topic. The LEDs in ProSim can be found here under Config Configuration and in the Combine Config tab. And here at the bottom of the list, you see the landing gear category. And there under Indicator, you can find the four LEDs we are searching for, which will be the PSEU here. I have already assigned an offset here and the three landing gear LEDs, gear left aft overhead, the gear nose aft overhead and gear right aft overhead. And again, already configured with an offset here. And now when I'm running MobiFlight, you can see, yes, you can see this, the uh, green LEDs are already lighted up. And to test the PSEU LED, I can just press here on it and uh, use the test function. And it is also working and lighted up. And the last thing we test is a dome light. I will switch it to the dim state here and the light goes on in the dimmed state. Off again and the bright mode here. There it is. And off again everything is working. And again, a next step is taken on the way to a fully working overhead. Only some last areas are left open here, so no time to rest, back to work. And if you want to make your own parts at home, then visit my website. There you can find all the plans in the member section for download. And if you want to know when the next part of the overhead is finished, then subscribe to my channel to stay informed about any upcoming new video from me. So I hope we'll see us soon back on the flight deck.